Hey everybody, it's Bigzil here. I'm playing Payday 2. Now, I've been playing this game quite a lot since its release. I am level 50, I've got quite a nice little bit of cash. I am completely uh, engrossed in one side of the game, and that's the ghost tree, as you can see by the numbers. Now, in the ghost tree, the ghost tree allows you to place jammers down, which stop cameras and such, but they also allow you to pick locks and safely and silently crack saves by hand, which means that you don't need to use explosives and you don't need to necessarily use loud guns and such. You don't need to go in loud. Do things rather stealthily, which is something that I quite like. I have a little bonus for um, silenced weapons and various other bits and pieces. This is the way I'm set up. I have two jammers. I also have the ability to set these jammers to inca incapacitate your uh, enemies. Um, I'm not completely fully updated, upgraded with all this stuff. I've still got plenty of levels to go to get more. Also costs quite a lot of money, which I've only got half a million at the moment. I have also upgraded my uh, cable guy. I want to get another point so I can add that into more cable ties. That would allow me to do single player missions. And what I say by this is, literally, I will be able to do certain missions on my own without having to have anyone, anyone at all, play with me. Now some may say, oh that's not the point of the game. Well to me, I like playing on my own sometimes. I don't always like playing with other people. And when I like playing on my own, it means that I can do and play this game the way I want to. Before I do anything else, I am going to select the most, the less visibility items as, as possible. So I've cho chosen this Car 4 rifle, which with a short barrel, which means it's really quite e um, low visibility. Secondary, I can choose uh, the Bernetta 9 pistol, which gives me a lot of ammo, decent damage. I've also got it upgraded quite nicely. I've got no armor whatsoever. Uh, I've got my jammers. I've got several masks that I can choose from. I'll select this one because it's kind of my favourite at the moment. And you can see it. it's nice. It's got a bronze thing on it and Union Jack. Brit, as you do. And I'm going to start doing some of these missions on my own. What I'll do is I'll record the missions. I'll show you how it goes. I'll give you some tips about how you to do it on your own. Especially if you've got lock picking. And because there's several random natures of certain missions, I'll do my best to explain on each go where the randomness changes where the spontaneity is so I hope you uh, enjoy the next few videos coming up in the next day or so um, thanks for watching so the first job we're going to start with is the Ukrainian job now this is like the jewelry um, store job except that this is purely getting a tiara. Now the reason why I'm doing this one first is because I find this one the easiest. You can do this on your own. You don't need any AI. You can literally do it on your own. As long as you've got pick locking and you r know really what you're doing. Now, the pay grade here. We've got three stars plus three skulls, which means this is an overkill. I am not going to have any of the assets because I won't need them. And if everything goes to plan, I will be able to get out scot free without alerting any one whatsoever. So let, let us go. Now the first thing you need to work out is that there is a metal detector which is here to turn on and off. You can choose to do so or not. There is one guard there. Now in this, there's norm there's normally two guards outside. It looks like there's only one. There may be another one around the corner. There's also occasionally a guard that will be stood about here. And there'll also be possibly a guard stood about here. Looking like this. Sometimes they're there together. Sometimes they're there not at all like this time. There's one guard there, which I will inevitably take out in a second. I say a second. I mean... Okay, safety off. Right now. <laughs> Get the pager. All's well, don't see anything. Yeah, I understand. It 
can also be very useful to have the perk that allows you to pick up the bodies. Like no one has heard you yet. Keep going. Now, it's possible that there's a guard around the corner. Possible. Unlikely, but possible. There's also likely to be a uh, guard in this room here next to the uh, camera feed. Now, I just want to give you a little bit of information here. There are two two rooms back here. One here on the left, one here on the right. The one on the left usually has one guard in. The one on the right usually has people in. Occasionally, it will also have a guard. So you've got to watch that. Because I haven't got the mastermind uh, perks to allow me to... Um, allow me to do more than two pages I've got to be very careful now I've just noticed that there is also a civilian coming up here I don't know how far he'll come not far at all let me just oh there's no guard there excellent doesn't mean there won't be though because the guard will move they normally have a patrol path of some description now, I will say this. Watch the damn civilians. A seven out seven or eight times out of ten you'll find that the uh, the tiara that you're looking for is in this safe. So this is always the best one to go for first because it means that you can get the tiara and run if you want to. I sense that the guard may be coming back. Any second here, so. Stop it! There we go. So the guard did come. Nothing going on but the rent. So in the other room, I'm expecting at least two people. There may even be as many as four, including a guard. So you've got to be very careful with that. I may just check in the cameras. In fact, I don't see anyone in there, which is. Quite rare. Let me just have a. Okay. So this is the other room. Looks like it's actually empty. In fact, I think I've got a really good deal here. So I can now do this quite safely. And hopefully, the tiara will be in here. But if it's not, and it's near the thing, it's not too much of a problem. <sighs> Remember, this is on overkill. This is if if the police get called, I am pretty much dead because I've got no armor on. My weapons are not as good as normal wep uh, the normal weapons because I've gone for uh, concealment, as it were. Lock picking is a very slow thing, but it's very worth the wait because it, it, you have no noise whatsoever. There's no explosions. There's no. There's no drill, there's no loud drill, it's purely lockpick, get in there, takes a minute or two, usually about a minute roughly. Okay, so, I will say this, there is a camera up there. Shut up and get down! There is two people in here. Get down on the ground! Everybody down! But... Now that you've taken a hostage... Because there's two people in here, I'm get away with it because obviously, um, I've got two cable ties. So let's start again. Now expect at least one person to come in the room while you're doing this. So you've got to be very careful. And I, when I say one more person, I mean kind of one more civilian is likely to walk in on you. So you've got to be careful. Now, if it's not in this um, safe, then the likelihood is it's in the shop itself. And if it's in the shop itself, it shouldn't be too difficult to find because you can just get do all the things and you've got enough time to get back to the truck. But the likelihood is is that it's in here. There we go. Now, I have two options here. I can just run now and go and leave and get out of here and do it completely stealthily or I can just run through the shop now tell people to get down and uh... I mean if I just do the metal detector for sure then... the metal detector is off. 
the alarm won't go off for a few seconds yet. So I will do that. I'm going to run through here, get some more cash, get as much cash as possible. Some people may not like doing this and just want to get away free. I want to get a little bit more money, so... Get down on the ground, people! Get down on the ground! I want everybody to shut up and get down! Got about 40 seconds, something like that. All of you get on the floor. Don't act dumb. There we go. So that was it. Now some people. Now, some people will want to know why I didn't just run in there and do that straight away. The thought problem is, is that you run in and do that, you, you alert the guard straight away, and then you have this horrible feeling that you're just going to get swamped by all the guards and such. So the best thing you can honestly do is to do this the way I've just done it. Get the stuff in ready and then attack the rest of the store and get the rest of the money. I mean, I made what, 60 grand? That's not too bad, considering I'm on my own and it's only taken me seven minutes. Now, if you've, had, if you've got C4 and such, you can probably do that on your own as well. Just go in there and blast the things, get away with it. But I mean, C4 is easy. C4 doesn't allow you, doesn't need makes you doesn't need stealth oh, that's really bad english but you know what i mean you don't need stealth when it comes to c4 or with a saw for instance let's see what i unlock shall we money 18 grand that's not too bad so there we have it that was how to do uh, the ukrainian job pretty much on your own with the ghost traits ghost perks as it were I hope you've enjoyed it sorry if I've missed anything but hopefully you guys will have understood that things are a little bit random so when I started that mission there was no way of me really knowing what I was going to be facing in anyway thanks very much for watching and uh, see you soon